Hey, guess what, buddy? There's a horse galloping over us. <laughs> that is bogus. No, seriously, there is. <laughs> bogus, I tell you, bogus. No, there really is. Check it out. <laughs> bogus, I tell you, bogus. Hey, this scene is on Streptococcus bovis, represented by this bacteria over here who keeps on saying that's bogus. Bogus for bovis. Okay, so let's talk about Streptococcus bovis and, we're talking, and we'll talk about why there's a horse galloping over them. So Streptococcus bovis, as you can see by their structure, is, gra is a gram-positive cocci. Hey, you see that they are purple. Gra purple in our scenes represents gram-positive because it stains purple in gram staining due to its thick peptidoglycan wall. We see that they're like sort of spheres because if you look at microscopy, they show up as like spheres. That's where cocci are. And they colonize the gut. Now, why is the horse galloping? So the horse galloping is going to help us remember Gallolyticus. Streptococcus gallolyticus is a type of Streptococcus bovis. And what's BCE on the horse? That's not representing before the common era. That's representing the three diseases associated with Streptococcus bovis. B is for bacteremia. C is for colon cancer. Bovis in the blood could cause cancer in the colon. And E is for endocarditis, subacute endocarditis. And if you note, there are no cats in this scene because Streptococcus bovis is catalase negative, which is, can be important in differentiating it from other gram-positive bacteria. Alrighty, hope you enjoyed. Take care.